In 2015, Nigeria lost about 2,300 under five year olds and 145 women of childbearing age, as stated by a UNICEF report. In 2011, we got uh, a grant from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to help us uh, carry out advocacy, particularly on uh, immunization, nutrition, as well as human resources for health. The aim of this uh, grant was actually to correct those very uh, wrong indices that we had been uh, having with regards to maternal, newborn and child health in Nigeria. This advocacy initiative was supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, BMGF. It focused on, one, getting political and public commitment to end preventable child and maternal deaths. Two, increasing and sustaining health financing and health workforce. And three, promoting funding for nutrition activities and mitigating challenges around effective routine immunization coverage. And Save the Children actually was, uh, was actually in the forefront in bringing people together, sitting at several committees in this agency and also at the Ministry of Health to see that uh, people sit down together to conceive the idea of aligning with the national system by the creation of the primary health care development agency. We've engaged strongly with Save the Children on the issue of improving nutrition at the LGA level. In the course of improving nutrition at the LGA level, uh, the Minister of Government has created a budget line for nutrition at LGA level for all the 14 local governments. They have uh, trained, they have uh, empowered uh, development committees in two LGA, uh, Buji and uh, Kadauri. And uh, those uh, development committees, they are now very, very proactive in terms of one, demand creation, strengthening of culture, and even the polter tracking. With the family planning activities, now we use the word child birth spacing. And Save the Children have been supporting us, especially we had the support from them about the budget line. Initially, there was no budget line in Zamfara State, but now with the support of Save the Children, we have budget line in the state. And we also have the support for them from uh, Save the Children and Clinton Health Access Initiative supported us on uh, strategic plans, which now the family planning um, CPR is so high now from 1% to 5.7% in the state. So what I'm trying to do now is to make sure that all these things they brought to my table, the policies we adopted in trying to address this issue, I now make them sustainable. So I'm talking of sustainability. I'm not only saying bring in the support, no. Bring in the support, I look at it at the State Council on Health and then try to work out with the development, Department of Planning, uh, Planning Research and Statistics to see how we are going to make these programs sustainable. This project has achieved a lot of things for the last three years, but it would never have been possible without the support and participation of uh, CSOs, the government, and a number of stakeholders who, have, who were involved in this project. So our partners actually had played a great role in the achievements we have made during the course of the last three years. So I really want to say thank you for all those involved and I would like to call upon all partners to be with us like they did in the last three years so that we can uh, also achieve a lot and lift up children from poverty.